Are you stressing over those extra pounds that you're gaining over the holiday season? A little weight? Does this look like a little weight to you? Well, today I'm going to give you a few tips on how to fight the holiday bulge and the stress that comes along with it. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Anderson Lane today. Most people actually gain about a pound to a pound and a half during the holiday season. I gain 45 pounds in a week. That's, That's crazy. crazy. I, I know, know how, how hard, hard I work to lose, lose those pounds. So I do not want to gain them back. And I love the treats and the food and everything that comes with the holidays. Mm. But I don't want to have to pay for it in blood, sweat, and tears for the next while just to get rid of it. I'm going to give you guys some tips about how to fight the holiday weight gain before you put it on. I know that we've eaten out a lot in the last little bit because I've been busy and crazy and by the time we are to dinner time, if we're out or even if we're in and my husband says, do you want me just to pick something up? A lot of times the answer right now is yes. Please do, because I'm done for the day. How do you fight that? The best thing for all of these tips is plan ahead. Now I plan my meals ahead and still sometimes it just doesn't happen. So don't feel bad, don't stress over that. But try to plan ahead as best you can. If you know or you've got a busy week, then throw some frozen pizzas or whatever in the freezer. If you just have a pizza in the freezer, you'll probably just put it in there and cook it for your family and you'll end up eating like a slice or two. Whereas if you go out, you'll get like a burger and a drink and fries and that's a lot more calories than you think. And throw some healthy snacks in your fridge or something that's super easy to munch on. Like if you had some turkey left over, throw that in the fridge and have that that you can just pull it out. Leftovers are great before we get into the holiday season if we can just throw our leftovers in the freezer and then pull those out for dinners that we need during the holiday season. Then we don't have to stress about it. We can just heat it up and serve it and it's good to go. So tip number two is to drink lots of fluids. If you drink water, you aren't going to be as hungry and it's more healthy for your body, so stay hydrated. A lot of the calories that we take in during the holiday season are liquid calories. Those are not the kind that you want to take in because they don't really fill your stomach. Now you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't drink alcohol but there are a lot of calories in most alcoholic beverages and usually during holiday parties you're not just drinking one or two if you are drinking follow your drink up with a glass of water it will help you stay full and not have a hangover so bad and it will help you curb those calories that your system is getting with all of that alcohol now it doesn't just have to be alcohol a lot of the time we're at parties and we drink drink sugary drinks sodas juices all of those things there's a lot of sugar in all of those drinks you guys haven't heard me go on my rant about sugary drinks check it out up in the corner women especially this is a health issue so check that out but try and limit your number of sugary drinks or your liquid calories. Okay, on to tip number three. Choose wisely the treats that you're going to eat. At home, you can hide your treats, you can put them away, you can put them in a cookie jar, whatever. That's up to you, but when you go to work or to your relative's house, they just might be out there. So, this is what you should probably try to do. Try and see if it's something that you really want, first of all. So if the boss brings in donuts and you're not really particularly hungry, but they're there and everybody else is having it, go grab a glass of water or just say, no, I already ate my breakfast. I'm saving this for a, the treat that I really want tonight. And that's the other part of it. Decide which treats, pick and choose which treats you really want. If you know that you want your grandmother's pecan pie or your aunt's fudge or something like that, 
skip out on some of those treats that you don't really care for all that much, but you're just having because everybody else has it and it's out. Skip out on those ones and save those calories for the treats that you really, really want. Now let's talk about eating your meals. What's your diet like? Milk and cookies, but I don't finish all the milk. Holiday season, we have big dinners that we go to, work parties, that kind of stuff. So make healthy decisions when you're eating. Make sure that you're getting some protein with each of your meals. Protein actually increases your metabolism and it helps you stay fuller longer. Also along with that are your fibers. Make sure that you're getting your fiber into your diet. It will help you get rid of everything in your system and it will help you stay full longer. Another thing to remember is to try and use a smaller plate. Most people will fill up the plate that they have. So if you have a huge plate, you'll fill up a huge plate. If you have a smaller plate, you'll fill up a smaller plate. Thus, smaller plates equal smaller portion sizes. Now, my last tip is to slow down when you're eating. A lot of the holiday stresses can all be taken care of with two words, slow down. This definitely applies to eating. If you just sit and eat, 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 eat really fast, the food doesn't have time to actually get into your stomach and your stomach doesn't have time to tell you that you're full before you've already eaten more than you should have. So slow down, take a breather between your bites, like have a conversation at the dinner table. Make sure you're listening to your body when it's telling you that you're full and follow what your body is feeling. If you guys have any other tips to fight the holiday bulge, then please comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time guys. Bye.